Why am I only focusing on the Hebrew Israelites? Why is he only making videos about the Hebrew Israelites? Oh, he just needs the Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites to make content. Look here. You guys are so silly and narcissistic that it just makes absolutely no sense. The truth of the matter is, like I said, and like I'm going to continue to say, the reason why I'm speaking on the Hebrew Israelites is because I feel like you're damaging the black community. I feel like you're a piss poor representation of the black community. I feel like you guys go out and you look stupid and you sit there and you twist the Bible and contort people and the people that follow you are too dumb to realize that you guys are leading them straight to hell. That's a fact. That's what I said. You guys twist the Bible you contort things, and then you sit there, you cherry pick, and you focus, you straw man argument, even though, like I said, some, some people actually know how to frame arguments. So guess what? I have a plethora of videos on my channel, not only going over my general view of the black Hebrew Israelites and why I feel the way that I do about them, but guess what? I'm also very specific, and I narrow down on very on, on specific points that they make that just contradict their entire argument, and that's the truth of, it, of the matter. When you when you listen to these guys, it's a contradiction. So listen, Hebrew Israelites, I'm sorry that you guys are victims. I'm sorry that you guys are oppressed. I'm sorry that you guys don't know how to function and don't know how to thrive in society and, and, and can't, can't function as adults without, um, without some kind of guiding mystical force guiding you. Not just that. I'm sorry that you have to twist and contort, uh, actual, the actual Bible in order to basically fit your narrative. I'm sorry that at the end of the day, you guys, like most of you are not smart enough to even know that you, that you going the wrong way. That's the truth of the matter. That's the truth of the matter. I'm sorry that you can't comprehend when someone is clearly, clearly pointing out why they believe that you're a problem. Forget the biblical stuff. Let's just talk as a as a functioning society, you guys cause discourse. You're no better than Antifa. You're no better than the KKK in practice. And when I say in practice, I get I, I get that y'all not going around doing the crazy things that we are, but guess what? Nobody could do that. You wouldn't be able to get away with that. Nobody can get away with that. And that's the problem. That's the problem when you listen to people that are delusional. That's why you being referred to as an agent, that doesn't bother me because guess what? It ain't no strings on my back. It ain't no strings on my back. You guys literally have some mystical force telling you why you're oppressed and why you can't succeed where you were born. That's crazy work. You have no justification because do you want to know, do you want to know how sad the black Hebrew Israelite cult movement is? Is that guess what? If you take away the transatlantic slave trade, which basically for lack of a better terms, if you take away white people's success, and conquering the world, then all of a sudden, their entire movement disappears. Their entire movement disappears. Nobody, and then they, like I said, they take stuff out of context. Nobody ever said that there aren't black people that might be Jews. I never said it. In fact, I've clearly stated that multiple times. The truth of the matter is, you hear what you want to hear. You argue off of a script. And when, when, when somebody gets you off of that script, you know, you, you can't go. And then you gotta go back to you gotta go back to your cult leaders, and then you gotta discuss with them. And basically what happens is you basically go and and, and you form your arguments based off of that.
truth of the matter is, y'all, I mean, I, like, I don't have, like, you guys are not that important. Don't nobody have to sit up and talk about y'all. We doing it. Look, because I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one who speaks about the Hebrew Israelites or the black Hebrew Israelites, the black Jews, whatever y'all want to call yourselves. Nobody, I'm not the only one who talks about y'all. The truth of the matter is, it's because people see that you are dangerous. You're dangerous. The damage that you can do is dangerous. The rhetoric that you spill is dangerous. Because then, let, let's just say hypothetically, we just get to the point where we just, be, where all white people just believe that, that, that salvation doesn't exist for them anymore, right? All of a sudden, now, guess what? What's to stop them from just going wild and just taking everybody out? People don't think about stuff like that. The world could end with for less. The truth of the matter is you people are lying. That's the, that's, that's the truth. You people are lying. And, and I'm sorry that every, that, that everybody that watch that, that watches and subscribes to your, to, to your cult is so lost. But at the end of the day, like I said, it ain't no strings on me. I don't care whether you black. I speak about black culture because guess what? I am black, not because black defines me or because black makes me uh, makes me who I am. I'm a lot of things, but guess what? Being black is maybe not even top 10. Maybe not even top 10. And that's a fact. That's 100% fact. As far as you talking about black as a color, well, guess what? When they refer to people as Negroes, what does Negro mean? What does the Negro word origin traits its etymology to? Black. That's how stupid you are. That, that, that's what I mean. It's just stupid, like common sense things that people that just paid half of attention in school will understand and comprehend. But let's just be honest. We're not talking about the elites of black culture right now. We're talking about people that, that, that live in a victim mindset and a victim mentality. And people that live in victim mentalities, they don't come from winning. They don't come from winners. They weren't raised by winners. And that's a fact. Mm, I might be reaching a little bit. <laughs> I, okay, I'll be. I look, look, look. I'm, I'm honest. That's one thing anybody can say about me. I'm honest. I ain't got a cap for nobody. That might be a little bit unfair. Ninety percent. It's too many black people that are that are, that are rising up and succeeding over their peers, and you know why? It's because the peers are listening to people like the Hebrew Israelites. Who can who only their only arguments are based off of the idea that there's some kind of mystical white Christianity, some kind of white Jesus, when nobody believes that. Look, people identified that as Jesus. That's not the same thing as believing there's a white Jesus. Nobody believes that there's a white Jesus. Nobody's teaching this stupid stuff. I hate when people say, oh, that's what I was taught to believe. No, that's what some, 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 like, some cult leaders just as yourself are teaching people. That's the truth. That's the truth. Are you, I mean, at the end of the day, you guys, like, you guys are not, you don't benefit the community. And when you talk to one of y'all, y'all don't even care about the black community. So at the end of the day, like I said, what is the benefit? What's the point? There is none. You're just a cult. Random raving from the losing locker room. And that's the truth for the matter. That's the truth for the matter, man. You guys are pathetic. That's why I'm talking about you, because you're pathetic. Getting more views talking about other stuff, stupid.